Hey everyone, welcome back. In this JQL and Jira search tutorial, we are going to quickly understand about some of the JQL fields that will be available, the keywords and operators a little bit in more detail. And then I'll provide you the links where you can go on the official Jira website, Atlassian website and get more details about these fields, operators and keywords, right? So some of the fields as we have already understood in the real scenario, for example, the version, affected version, assignee, attachments, category, etc. Now these are some of the fields that you can look for or basically use the fields to search the relevant issues according to the values in these fields. For example, epic link, you are searching for issues that belong to a particular epic in a classic project, right? So any of that epic link or filter, you can use the safe filter to narrow uh, your search results. So you can use the filter fixed version issue key or issue link, etc. Uh, when the last viewed was done on the issues, right? So these are there are a lot of fields and there could be custom fields as well. So basically, I'll paste this link here. If you see at the bottom, this is the link which provides you the reference to the fields. And these are basically the out of the box fields that are available that you can go ahead and refer and get more details around the fields. Okay. But to learn JQL, you just need to understand what sort of fields are and just read it through once and that should be sufficient. You do not need to worry about too much about what all fields are there and how you are going to because how part we are anyways going to cover in the real scenarios and examples of JQL. So if we go more, you'll see there are there are a lot of more fields and I'll post this particular PDF for your reference anyways. Okay, so this will have some um, relevant uh, sort of field information already and you can go to this link to get more details. Now coming to the operators, we'll be covering operators in a lot more detail with examples right but here is the list of operators that are there equals not equals greater than greater than equals less than less than equals right so pretty obvious operators if you have any uh, background in search of uh, in in terms of uh, sql or any query language it's kind of pretty similar there then in not in or contains and does not contain right so uh, for example contains is mostly used for the text values if we are searching for any text within the description or something then we can use the contains the uh, the operator there and does not contain so these are some of the operators that we'll be using to formulate our query with examples okay now some more operators is is not was was in was not in so all of these that you see here will be covering these with example in this full course so don't worry if you don't understand or just by reading this pdf if you, do, if you don't understand details because we'll be explaining them in more detail now coming to keywords as we have understood about the example that and keyword we have already used so what keywords do is they use to combine multiple clauses which you have already seen in the first query that we wrote uh, then it allows to refine our search then or is again it combines multiple clauses then not is used to negate individual clauses right so or or a query right so empty is used to search for issues which for which the given fields are empty right so this is another keyword null is used for searching the issues which for which the given field does not contain any value right so then order by is used to order the search based on ascending and descending order okay so you can also go to this link for searching the jql keywords okay now functions i'll cover separately but i have also prepared uh, this particular pdf for the functions but all of these that you see the keywords the operators and the fields fields basically will be used in the queries but in the examples we'll be covering all of the operators all of the uh, keywords to formulate the query complex query as per the real scenarios okay so that's all about the basics of some of the keywords operators and fields within jira i'll be sharing this pdf and links in the description section so go ahead read through it and prepare a little bit about uh, understanding about the keywords etc and then we'll meet in the next lecture so that's all for this tutorial thank you very much for watching